agriculture, but on health, we are insisting that government should increase the funding going to health. And that should get up to the 50% of the Abuja declaration. Abuja declaration talks about 50%. We are not greedy. We know 50% may not be feasible. They should do at least 7.5%, which is 50% of the Abuja declaration. And beyond budgetary resources, government doesn't have the money to be able to pay for the health care of everybody. To promote universal health coverage, we must ensure universal and compulsory health insurance scheme for every Nigerian. Okay? Health insurance must be compulsory and universal. And federal government will now be thinking of those who do not have the resources to pay for the insurance. If we do this, we will aggregate a huge pool of funds, which will even be bigger than pension funds, which we will now be using to supplement health coverage across Nigeria. Yes, health insurance, not everybody will be sick at the same time. There are people who are blessed by God who can go for one year, they will be sick, they will not utilize it. But those who fall ill and fall short of the grace of health will be able to utilize them. In education, we are asking the Federal Ministry of Health to set up mechanisms to increase accountability in tertiary education systems so that internally generated revenue can be more optimally utilized. Increase funding to at least 50% of the UNESCO recommendation, which is 13% of overall budget, to the before development capital vote for the sector. And very importantly, a moratorium on the establishment of new tertiary institutions while providing funding to increase the current capacity of existing institutions. This idea that federal government has no money, yet every state, every time it is establishing new universities, there is now an army university in Bill. There is now an Air Force University in Kaduna. Now, the Nigerian Defense Academy has been offering degrees. Okay? So why do you need to establish these new universities when you can't even fund NDA very well? Why don't you increase the current capacity of the NDD by building more hostels, building more laboratories, building more lecture theaters, building more libraries, and hiring more teachers? It is going to be cheaper to do this than to establish an Air Force University and establish an Army University. It doesn't make sense. Do you even know the following one? The Minister of Aviation is asking for three billion in the budget to establish an aerospace university. Have you heard about that one? Aerospace university. What does it mean? It doesn't make any meaning at all. Why don't, if you want a special faculty or department in the University of Abuja, you establish that and appoint a dean, and then it goes ahead instead of trying to start a new university from the scratch. We've talked about works and housing separating them. Um, we also talked about power sector, which is quite important and beyond the budget. They should open up the power sector to new investors, but not in the way they are trying to do. If you listen to the news a couple of days ago, they said they are going to sell Gerigu and some of these power stations that they built in the southwest. And they are going to sell them for about 140 something billion naira. But it is on record that those plants were constructed with about 10 billion. How can you construct power plants with 10 billion naira, 10 billion dollars? At 379 to 1, right? You are talking about 3, about 3 point something trillion. And you want to sell the same plants you build for 3 trillion at hundreds of billions of naira, at less than 200 billion. It doesn't make sense. It shows clearly that either those contracts were heavily inflated or you are simply trying to that give away government property, public property, to your cronies who will now make a lot of profit out of them. So private sector should be brought in, but not the way they are currently doing it. Open up the avenue to more agencies, to more individuals to invest, and to more people to come in, including uh, credible business organizations. Do I stop here to take some questions before we go into frivolities, or do we take two of them together? Let's take all together.